Now you notice the most of my work is now going to be done here instead of in these two places. So f of x plus h is just 1 over take the x out and put in x plus h. And the original function is 1 over x squared. Subtract 1 and 2, I get 1 over x plus h squared minus 1 over x squared. The key to this now is to find a common denominator. Find a common denominator and simplify. And it's just x squared times x plus h squared. So I multiply this guy by x squared over x squared, this guy by x plus h squared, x plus h squared. I'm left with x squared over the LCD minus 1 times x plus h squared all over the LCD. which is, over the LCD, x squared minus 1 times x plus h squared, which is x squared plus, or not plus, minus, one times x plus h squared is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Now again, the numerator will have nothing but h's in it by the time I'm done. This is x squared minus x squared minus 2xh minus h squared. The x squareds add to zero, so I'm left with negative 2xh minus h squared all over x squared times x plus h squared. To make life easier, This fraction can be written as 1 over h times f of x plus h minus f of x. So this becomes 1 over h times minus 2xh minus h squared all over x squared times x plus h squared. I can factor out a greatest common factor of x. Right now I have a zero over zero form. If h equals zero, that would be zero. That would be zero. That meant algebra. This is the algebra. So this is one over h times h times negative two x negative h all over x squared times x plus h squared. The h's will reduce out. You're left with negative 2x subtract h over x squared times x plus h squared. Now if I let h go to zero, numerator is no longer zero, denominator is no longer zero. That's the algebra part of a, of a problem in 2.1.